what's up guys the race here welcoming you back into another video and in today's video we are looking into a dab go in-car audio adapter which allow you to update your car audio system in easiest way without replacing your car audio system or some point the car itself i was approached by prime electronics and satellite limited to test and share my thoughts on their new dab go in-car audio adapter and to be honest with you within this video i'm going to show you each and everything what they said on the paper and what i have tested to confirm this all as well now let's have a look into the more detail to start with now you have got the idea that this is a dab go in car audio adapter which allows you to update your car audio system and the best advantage you're going to get with this system is that you can enjoy a variety of radio options and interference free dab and a dab plus digital radio now the way this dab go connects with your car audio system using an auxiliary cable which is provided as well as the fm transmitter too so both options are available and i have tested them in the video too also come with the built-in bluetooth hands-free feature which will help you to make calls using this dab go inbuilt car adapter as well as you can enjoy the music from your mobile phone straight on your car audio system that is a fantastic feature you also get the options for voice control unlimited program storage sls image display what i meant by this all is basically you do not have any interface display on the dab go itself you're going to use an application which is available for android as well as for ios users which will help you to set the channels up navigate within the dab go station system everything is fantastically arranged within the application too now the way this application connects with your dab go is very easy and straightforward as well using the bluetooth connectivity as well as the hotspot too which i'm going to share with you in the video as well and within the packaging you get everything you should have to set this system up in your car starting with the controller usb power cable antenna with the sticky tape 12 volt adapter with a dual usb port to charge up your mobile as well at the same time if you want to controller bracket as well as self-adhesive cable clips too everything is included guys now i have briefly explained to you what the system offers and how it all works actually let's go ahead and install this system in our car and show you its performance and the configuration process too now let me go ahead and quickly install this dab go setup first you need to install this antenna part on your windscreen come with this own sticker and make sure that your contact part is inside the vehicle which will be connected with this wiring part and now just carefully stick it with the antenna so once the antenna installation is completed this is how it's going to look like connect hands-free microphone in the middle of car and tidy up all the wiring ego radio in our car and freeze right on the top antenna is right on the windscreen here is our dab receiver which is connected using the auxiliary cable with my car audio system i have already configured it to connect with my mobile phone for the dab scans as well as the hand free calls too but let me show you each and everything you should know about that process as well now application which you need to configure your dab go radio station system is available for android as well as for ios users we are on android mobile phone we can download it from google play store within the search we need to search in for udio dab go that is your application the first one on the top by prime electronics now i have already installed this application on my mobile phone so that is why i'm getting the option for open it but if you're installing it first time the option will be the install available for you now there are multiple connections which are required between your dab go receiver and a mobile phone one which is using the wi-fi for this application to work with another one is for hands-free using the bluetooth for the wi-fi connectivity you need to turn on the hotspot of your mobile phone and the default information for hotspot connectivity are available within the user manual and all the information about your device name and a password is also customizable using the application too come back onto the dab application and click onto the menu button 
by selecting the device connection you can search for the device which is for your DAB that is how your mobile phone is now connected with the DAB module now in here all the information about the DAB station will be acquired from internet using your mobile phone data and you can use this application to navigate within the all channel list now by using the DAB controls and a scan function in here you can scan all the DAB radio stations available within your area and once the scan is completed press OK and click onto the program list here you get all the DAB scanned stations available for you to enjoy select the one you would like to go for and click onto the play button Now from the program list if you would like to have something in your favorite go down into the present management now to add click onto the empty spot select the channel from the list whatever you like to and there we go it's all done now this all is available on the home screen of your DAB simply select it and off you go Now it's not necessary that you have to run this application all the time to play any music. Once you have set any DAB station you would like to go for all the time, you can just simply enjoy it. That's about it. And you can use your navigational keys on the DAB module to navigate within the list. Which actually works great and the sound quality is fantastic too. To change your Wi-Fi DAB setting from the default, you need to click onto the menu button on the top and go down into the DAB settings where you need to click onto the Wi-Fi button in here and click onto the add smartphone hotspot. Now in here you need to give SSID and a password which you have to type into the hotspot of your mobile phone to access actually. That's how easy and straightforward it is. Then down below you have a Wi-Fi auto selection where I have actually added multiple of them to go through. By default is my DAB go underscore 7476 and the password is opposite from 128 I think so. Now it's not necessary that you have to use the auxiliary port of your car to transmit the music from your DAB receiver. You can actually use the FM option. Let me show you how. Simply turn on the FM on the top here. Select the frequency. Let's suppose I have selected 918 and click auto search frequency. Now software will automatically find the open frequency for you and let you know that use that frequency for the better reception. So it's telling me that I can set 87.6 megahertz. It just gave me a frequency. I set it on my Ocar audio system and it straight away started working. It also shows me the DAB station which is played on my DAB receiver right on my car stereo system. And the sound quality on FM is not that bad at all. Now let's have a look into the hands-free feature that how you're going to connect your DAB receiver with your mobile phone using the hands-free Bluetooth connectivity which is very easy and straightforward as well. From the home screen you can turn on and off Bluetooth of your DAB receiver simply by click of a one button. Now as you can see it's turned on and you need to go into the Bluetooth setting of your mobile phone and within the available devices you should be able to locate DAB go underscore BT. Simply connect to it and pair with it. That's how easy and straightforward it is. Once it's connected, you're going to see it in the paired devices like you can see on my screen as well. Now let's check out the functionality of it. Straight away you've seen that the music was turned off. Hi Mohit, can you hear me clearly? Yeah. How's the sound? Is it coming late or just straightforward? Is it clear? Incoming call. 
Hello, Mohit. Hello. Can you hear me clearly, man? Yeah. Oh, you're not playing Fortnite today, aren't you? You're also going to hear the audible notification when someone calls you along with the calling of number two. And I did notice there's a his noise when you're using the FM transmitter to transmit this DAB radio on your car audio system, but no his whatsoever when you're using the auxiliary cable. Now using your mobile phone, you can also play music from your mobile phone straight on your car audio system. No need to worry about any connectivity issues or play music from YouTube as well if you want to. It just works great, no problem whatsoever. Now here we are in the end of this video and I try to show each and every feature offered by this DAB GO. Now within the whole video we covered the DAB functionality, FM transmitter, hands-free feature, having an application on your mobile phone to configure it and play music from your mobile phone straight on your car audio system. All the features which were mentioned, I tried them and they worked great for me. Now this product being in under development, I have got a couple of recommendations for manufacturer to do. I'm sure I'm going to review them all again too. Now starting with my first recommendation to have an NFC in it, which makes it very easier for you to configure this device with your mobile phone. And they should come up with a couple of coloring as well. Let's suppose a black color will do great job in this too. And if possible, have a micro SD card as well as a USB port support for playing music. And they should also think about putting a multi-function buttons too. Like these navigational keys could help you to disconnect the call or attend as well. That function would be great to be honest with you. Now my last and final suggestion would be this power on and off button. Let's suppose it's powered at the moment. If I turn the ignition off my car, it goes off. That's fine. No problem. And when I power it back on, it should power up again actually. It should remember. But I have to power this thing up by myself. I'm sure this issue can be resolved by software update. No worries whatsoever. Which you can update by using the DAB Go application too. Now that will be completely all from my side guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you still have any more questions about it, please write them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to purchase it or like to know more about it, I will leave a link in the video description for you too. You can purchase it worldwide.